Let's try putting our knowledge of electron donating and withdrawing groups to the test with a quick problem. Electrophilic addition, as we've seen, involves a pi bond as the nucleophile. The first question is, of the molecules listed here, which of the three would we expect to be the most reactive in electrophilic addition? Take a minute and pause the video and see if you can work through this based on our discussion of donating and withdrawing groups. Hopefully you recognize that the molecule on the left contains an electron donating group linked to the pi system while the molecule on the right contains an electron withdrawing carbonyl group linked to the pi system. Electron donating groups raise the orbital energies of conjugated pi systems. This means that they make conjugated pi systems stronger nucleophiles. You can almost think of this in terms of an electron currency analogy. The donating group is literally making the pi system richer in electrons. Naturally then, the electron withdrawing group is going to exert the opposite effect it's going to pull electrons away from the pi system, making it a weaker nucleophile. And again, you can think in terms of a currency analogy. Because the withdrawing group is literally taking electrons away from the pi system, the carbons here are more electron poor. And naturally then, they're less willing to donate electrons or act as a nucleophile. And so in electrophilic addition, which involves the pi bond as a nucleophile, we would expect the molecule containing the electron donating group to be the most reactive. We can also use our understanding to predict which carbon within the most reactive molecule is specifically the most nucleophilic, and this just requires consideration of resonance forms. Pushing electrons starting from the electron donating group reveals that this carbon where we're landing electrons is probably the most electron-rich carbon within the structure as a whole. Here's the result of that arrow pushing, and this resonance structure makes it pretty clear that this carbon is likely the most nucleophilic in the molecule. This means that this double bond on the left is likely to react preferentially, and will end up with a product in which bromine has added to the left-hand double bond. There are actually a couple of different ways this can happen because we're dealing with a conjugated system, but regardless of the product that forms, and I'll let you work through how this alternative product could have formed, we should expect a bromine to end up linked to this most nucleophilic carbon in the molecule. The first step of the reaction mechanism, bromonium ion formation, is very likely to involve this most nucleophilic carbon. 